This evening I'm in Apraya in Corfu and I'll be photographing this jetty. I've come down to the beach now at Apraeus and it's a really beautiful long sandy white beaches going all the way in that direction and over into that direction as well. It really is beautiful and the great thing about this beach is that this sand goes right out probably a few hundred meters and it's only about waist height so it's great for kids and or snorkeling or whatever you want to do around here so it really is a lovely little beach this so the thing i've come down here to photograph is that jetty over there um i don't think it's going to win any engineering uh, merits or anything like that but it's um it's quite rustic um i think it's got carpet now to it to stop you falling through and uh, it looks a bit higgledy piggledy but it does um does make great photographs so the sun has set behind the hills behind me over there and there's some lovely clouds, I don't know if you can see them up there. So I'm really hoping that at sunset there's going to be some really dramatic colour coming over the top. Unfortunately there's a big bank of um, empty space up there which I'm hoping if these clouds move a bit that will fill up. But in the distance at the, the back you've got the, the Albanian mountains. So Albania's all the way across there to somewhere over there. And at the moment, you've got lovely blue water, lovely blue haze on these, these mountains, and you've got a nice blue sky. So I've just taken a quick panorama, um, catching all those monochromatic blues together. Um, and there's, thankfully, there's a boat just on the side at the end of this um, jetty. So that really does work well, I think, in the photograph. So this is a very monochromatic panorama. Um, hopefully soon I'm gonna get some color in there. So when these clouds start pinking up and getting some colour in them, I might move closer and go onto the pier itself and try and capture some of the pier and get as much of the sky in as possible. But from this angle, there might be some nice colours at the back. Um, so I'm just gonna hang around for a bit and see what photos I can get here. But it really is a beautiful little pier. Um, I think sunrise is pretty much over there. If you can look on the, um, the coast over there, there's a little, well, quite a big town, I think it's called Sarande, which is um, in Albania. And the sun rises in the mountains behind that. So this will be a great sunrise shot as well, I think. So I'm gonna take a few photos this evening and come back in the morning and see which work best. If you've wondered how to take photographs of jetties or piers, then I'll try and give a few tips in this video as well. Um, there's no real, hard and fast rules. In fact, especially with jetties and things like that, it's quite often a good thing to break the rules. So when you have, say the rules are thirds, um, when I started off, I used to go to the side of a jetty and try and take photographs, including the whole jetty as a long panorama going straight across the scene. But also, if you go right up to the jetty, put it smack bang in the center of the um, the photograph and have a vertical composition then you're ignoring the rules of the two-thirds but that can be very dramatic and very simple so yesterday I went to Ipsos which is just down the road and there's a, a dilapidated jetty there and on that one I put the the pier or jetty whatever it was uh, right in the center of the photograph at the bottom in portrait and then just took two different compositions one where the the sky was about two-thirds of the shot and then the other were where the pier was about two-thirds of the shot and I think either work completely fine um, but you're breaking the rule of the thirds in the center but you're keeping the rule of thirds um, in the actual vertical side thing so it does work and there's lots of different examples so this one I'm trying because this is a particularly long pier or jetty I keep calling get those two mixed up but yeah because it's a long jetty um, this one works quite well as a panorama, but because of this lovely steely blue light at the moment um, in the mountains in the background, that works great. But I'm hoping if, especially in the morning when I come back again, if there's some really strong clouds above it, um, which there aren't at the moment, there's that big bright patch of blue, um, it'll probably be difficult to get a full on um, shot of, of the pier with the clouds in the top as well so I think this one's going to be more of a, a subtle evening shot um, and if there's some really bright light in the, in the sky then tomorrow you can make a more dramatic one by having 
looking right down on the on the jetty or the pier looking at the wooden slats and using those wooden slats to lead your eye up into the photograph and into the the main subject of which is probably the beautiful clouds um, or the the distant uh, hills or whatever it is but uh, it just depends on on the pier or jetty that you're photographing really there's a lovely yacht that's just going um, behind by those mountains in the background and I've got a nice photograph zooming right in as close as I can to try and emphasize the nice blue steely colors in those mountains behind the yacht I've learned to call it a yacht and not a boaty thing so because all you boat type people out there weren't impressed the last time so I'm learning so I've got a nice photograph of that one thing I've had to be cautious of is it's quite that's quite fast actually um, it's only moving very slightly from how I can see, but it's because I'm zoomed right in, um, as soon as I've taken the photograph, I think it was about a quarter of a second, even that was too slow. So you could see blur in the boat when you zoomed in on it. So I've gone down to about f5.6 and really made it um, quite a very short exposure to try and capture that in the distance. So what I've done here, I've probably come about 50 meters away from the end of the pier and I've got the camera as high as I can on the tripod so I'm looking right down on these boards so I can get as much of the board in as I can if I'm too low then it'll be too compressed so what I'm doing is I'm lifting the camera up to really elongate this short bit of um, jetty here and you've got these lovely boards down here which help to lead the eye in all the way to the lovely mountains and clouds in the background I've put the, the jetty smack bang in the, in the centre um, of the vertical so i have ignoring the rules of thirds on that one but I'm also ignoring the the rules of thirds on the verticals because at the moment the clouds in the sky there there's, there's nothing there's just a massive patch of blue sky and I don't think that will work in a photograph I'll try and put it on a third as well just to see say if you're selling it to a magazine or something like that they might want a bit of clear space at the top um, so that empty space can be used for wording or stuff like that so it is if you're selling to stock libraries or anything like that it is quite a good idea to to have a bit of space at the top but i'm not doing that this is just going to be for a, a photograph hanging on my wall so i've just cropped off the top um, so it's quite near the horizon and then the rest of it is just this jetty leading all the way down right into this, as close as i can into the foreground and just down here you can see there's a load of um, joins which aren't joining up very well so that does help to um, add some drama and a bit of interest to the story behind this photograph which I really like. So when I'm taking this photograph as well I've got to be very careful not to move. One is because if you make any movement the boards will wobble and that will go through the, the, the camera and at the moment it's about 16 second exposure so because it's getting quite dark and there's a lot of um, movement on the water if I've got about 16 seconds it it kind of flattens out all the waves on the water so the only thing that's going to be solid is the the boards on this jetty leading out and I think that will look really good um, next to the the blurred water so another reason I'm staying still is because if I move too much I think this thing might collapse so I'm being very careful I think I'm being a bit pessimistic really it's, it's pretty solid it's getting quite dark now um, I've had to use my my torch to see what I'm doing so the exposure is about 30 seconds so it's probably about right to call it day now I might take a photo looking towards the resort but we'll see how it goes but uh, if not I'm going to try and get back in the morning and get some lovely shots of sunrise and hopefully with the sun rising right behind there should be some nice um, colours in the clouds if we get any clouds and that should make some really nice photographs I've walked to the end of the beach now and there's this nice little boat here it's it's a fiberglass one unfortunately It'd been better if it was wooden but it's uh, still very photogenic um, 
it's completely sank and there's some lovely sand patterns all around it and it's mostly covered in water so um, I've taken one or two photographs in portrait and landscape um, using these lovely mountains of Albania in the background. Um, I think it worked best with the big stopper on these ones um, just to try and blur this water out and you can see the, the sand patterns underneath better um, and it does make it a bit more ethereal so I'll just show you those now. I don't know if I'll turn them to black and white. Um, they do look very steely blue at the moment. So we can either make it blue or black and white. So I'll have a look at those in post and see what they look like and which one works best. I'm getting eaten to death now. Um, there's mosquitoes everywhere and they keep biting. So I think it's quite time to call it a day. Uh, Paul Johnson calls the, the midges back in the UK flying teeth but these things are something else. I swear one of them had a chainsaw. So I'm getting bitten and I've had enough of that now. So I'm gonna go home and have a cup of tea. So I really do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I really do enjoy reading your comments and your support is, means a lot to me. So. Please leave some comments and thank you very much.